Good morning. And we are so excited today, this morning on Friday, uh, because we are the grand recipients of a beautiful, beautiful book donation. Um, and we are so grateful for the partnership of our community partners and just communities, community folks that recognize the need. And during this time, Abigail Aguiar had reached out to us to ask if there was a need for books um, to be able to put gently used and brand new books in the hands of our kids. And during this pandemic, we need to make sure certain rituals maintain themselves. So sending books home is gonna quickly turn into a very top priority for all kids. So we are so grateful for Abby. Come on over um, and join us. Um, and we've got almost just about 2,000 books um, separated by grade level. And we are just so, so excited here at Henry Lord Community School. Abby Aguiar, I'm from Dartmouth, Mass, um, and I go to Bridgewater State University. I'm a senior there um, studying elementary ed and English. So throughout my semester, obviously the pandemic hit and um, discussions about kids not having access to books at home came up. So I just felt like I, I wanted to do something to help. So I reached out to Dr. Bronhard and we decided that I'd be able to start posting on social media and try to get people in the community to donate books. Um, and we've raised, like Dr. Bronhard said, almost 2,000 books to send home with these kids in case remote learning happens again. You know, a lot of kids are hybrid, just so that we make sure they have books at home with them. So we are just grateful, you know, a pre-K through eight school, we have over 800 kiddos here at Henry Lord, um, and we are just grateful to have a wide range of books. Um, Abby and I also spoke about a lot of diverse authors who, that she also incorporated into the books, um, and that really works alongside of our turnaround work, and we are just so, so grateful um, for the partnership and for the donations that Abby was able to receive. So, you know, also thank you to all those folks in the community. Yes. Um, not just Fall River, but neighboring communities who donated on behalf of Abby. Um, and we are just grateful for the network and grateful for the support because we cannot do this work in isolation. It truly takes a village and, and we are beyond grateful. So thank you so much. Thank, thank you so you. much, Abby. Thank you.